Okay, guys, I'm here today with Lachlan Giles, the Giant Slayer. <laughs> and uh, guys, huge honor for me. This is like one week after the ADCC. He, I think he was the breakthrough star of the ADCC. Like uh, one, of, one of the most amazing scenes I ever watched in my entire life about grappling. He went there and he tapped like three huge opponents, all like world champions. And is that that? So, man, congrats. Thank you. Lachlan, that was amazing to see. And guys, today Lachlan is going to show us here three BJJ chokes that every grappler should know. So we shot an, yeah, he shot an instructional video, the high percentage chokes. That was one of the best instructions I ever saw about chokes. And the Lachlan is gonna show us here like three BJJ chokes that everybody should know. And the last one he's gonna show was the most amazing one, was some very, very good details about the Anaconda choke. So uh, make sure you watch it to the end because that was very, very cool. So let's do this. All right. So the first one is probably the classic one that everyone definitely should know, and that is the the rear naked choke. Um, so let's let's get into it. So we've got the back. Um, I like to fall to the the underhook side. Okay. Um, having shorter arms, I can't get away with choking over the 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 face like a lot of people <laughs> with long arms can. So I have to get like right under the the neck. All right. So. When we fall to the underhook side, my left arm, this bottom arm, my elbow should drop to my ribs so that he can't fall into this space underneath the arm. Okay? I don't want Bernardo shifting out here. I'm going to lose any chance of getting the choke. So my underhooking arm should be like this, and I'm connecting my hands. So now if you go to move out that side, Bernardo, you should be pretty stuck. Okay. I can't. Um, connected my, my hands here. I'm going to go through the basically just the, the finishing and the mechanics of how I, I finish this choke. The main thing I want to stop at first is Bernardo's head moving this way too, okay? So it's my arm doing that, but it's also my head being next to Bernardo's head, okay? So my head also assists with that. From here, I'm going to dig my hand, I move it back, and I'm going to dig from the outside of the chin, so under the chin here, and sliding it through, okay? You, you will almost never, you almost never just go like this and be able to connect your, your choke up. Okay? He's going to tuck his chin. Uh, and as I said, if you don't have long arms, that's that's just going to be a, a great defense to stop me from, from getting the choke. So I need to dig from, like with my my hand like this, with my thumb coming from the outside of the chin, pressuring tight, my head's counter pressure against that, and I slide through until I get all the way. I want to get this really deep. I actually even like, like reach, uh, let's turn a little bit this way. I even reach it like, far enough hooking around that I feel like that's taking over that, that same role of stopping Bernardo moving this way. So offer my arm alone, if I take my underhook out, if Bernardo goes to move that way, he still can't. I actually have to be like, I have to be active in this in this pressure here. I can't just be here. Here, put move your head out and shoulders out. I'm gonna lose it, right? So when I get this, I wanna pull back nice and tight, okay? The next thing, what's he gonna try and do is gonna peel that hand off, right? He's gonna, if he can get to this hand, I could just pull this hand. Now, now this this one, sorry. Okay. And then he removes it, okay? So it can't be just here. It has to be like hidden as far around, like deep and as far as possible. Take your time to do this and then cover your hand with your chin as well. Try and get to my hand now, but I can find it. Yeah. All right, so now we have this. Now I just need to get my second hand in and I'll be able to get the finish. Now, what I used to do, which uh, changed recently and it's much better, is I used to try to like swim from here. But you can block that, right? Bernardo, you can hold that. Um, and I don't want to, so you know, I don't want to grab my uh, arm here where he can hold it. I'll never get the second hand into the finish, and he's going to peel this off. So what I do once I've got this position is I actually get up on my elbow and I sit forward. Man, that's so right. easy. Because now, once I'm up like this, he still can't fight this hand, and my left hand can come from the back, which it couldn't do before. Okay, it comes behind the neck here. Try and block that, Bernardo. Try I can't block this find hand. it. Good. Once my I basically put my fist in the neck and then I bring my elbow over the top so that my hand can connect here. Okay, So it's like nearly impossible to stop. Okay, Now my right hand connects to my bicep, like top of the shoulder, left hand can shoot through and it's done. We just, we just squeeze like with our, it's not, you're not pushing the head, you're actually pulling your elbows back and your chest forward to finish this. Okay. So look, man, some amazing details here. So. This thing that you did, th there's a bunch of things here that I had never seen before. So this thing you did with your form over there was new for me. So yep. can you repeat that again? When I, when I got up on the... So, yeah, so no, we, 
you, you, oh, you, like blocking this? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I just like, I'll keep my elbow tight and it's just to stop you from, you know, if I go for the choke and you move here, I'll never finish yeah. there, right? I need to keep you here. My head's helping with that. Oh, that's great. And once this gets deep, this also pulls you across. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, pay attention what he's going to do with this arm. That was amazing. So instead of bringing this arm around, he's going to place his elbow on the ground. Then I can't find his arm anymore. And then he goes from the back. So I can't find it. I can't block it. Yeah. Actually, really important with this guy as well. So I see my head still in position, having taught this before. Sometimes people go like, they go like, ah, okay, here I lost the head. Yeah, I won't get this jump. Yeah. My head still has to pressure Bernardo forward. Okay. Once I'm here, easy. Okay, we'll get the finish from there. Yeah, but uh, guys, uh, look how I think everybody knows how to do it here in Nature, right? Maybe even who doesn't even do grappling, they know how to do it. Yeah. But look at those very little details that Lachlan is showing. I think that's what differentiates the the one who is the expert to the one that just know the basics. So that was really, really cool. Thank like, you. So what's the next one? So the next one's going to be the arm in guillotine. Um, the reason we're going to do arm in, it's actually a little harder to get the finish on the arm in than it is the, the regular guillotine. But the good thing about the, the arm in guillotine is we have a follow-up option, which is going to be our next technique as well. So I just want to show how these link together really well. Um, so. We've, got, we've, we've managed to snap down and, and get a, a chin strap here. The first grip's always going to be on the chin because uh, that stops Bernardo from removing his head. And then my left hand here is going to come around the arm and through to connect to my hand. Okay? Essentially, once your hands are connected, you should feel like it's very hard for them to uh, escape this position now. Okay? I'm reaching out. Let's just turn. Just to show that. So we're here. I come behind the arm and connect my hands here. All right. Okay. So. I need to, I need to get this really tight before I sit down. Most common mistake people make is they sit and it's not tight yet. I'm never gonna, you basically cannot tighten your arms further once you've sat down. It all has to happen while you're up. Okay, so from here, I'm going to step up on my left leg, posture up, I'm gonna pull Bernardo's head as high behind my back as possible, like this, and then I readjust my, my hands in front, like that. Okay, so we're here. Pull his head up, and then I adjust my hands back in front, like this, okay? What that's done is it's made it so like, when my when I get my hands locked, see I lift my shoulder blade up, and my hands lock here. Now the, the, the action to finish the choke is, is a strong action, which is my shoulder dropping down. This gives me power for the choke, as opposed to me, a weaker action, trying to like lift up like a, like a, um, bicep curl, I guess. Because this is a much weaker action than dropping your shoulder into it. So if I can get my hand high and then drop my shoulder to the choke, much better. So we're here, I connect my hands, I step up, I pull the head nice and high, I adjust my hands and I'm trying to get my hand as high up on my chest as possible here and I'm, I'm elevating my shoulder, okay? So I could try to finish here, like I might be able to get the tap here, but in reality, I would sit down. So I can try to choke and that might, <coughs> But in reality, once I get my legs in position, it's much better. So I step with my right foot in front of the hip and I curl sideways here. You can see I'm dropping that shoulder into the head, okay? Leg goes over the back and I get the fish. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> oh, that was great. So, so you see, it's like a side curl to finish. Another common mistake, people arch their back. This doesn't help that shoulder drop. I wanna get that shoulder in to, to finish, okay? And once more. I grab the chin, connect my hands, pull the head up, and adjust so that my hands come high on my chest. Okay. From here, I get a good angle so that my foot can drop on the side. I'm gonna side curl here before his head hits the mat. Ah. Start getting the finish. Man, it's really, really tight. So, like, a few things here. Uh, one, I like it how you change the chin using the hand first, right? Yeah. So that's the first step, right? Yeah, it's just a, like it stops them backing out. It's, it's, oh, yeah. If you just have a fist, I'll grab it and I remove it. If I'm, it's much harder to like peel this off. I if you're it. trying to grip fight, then if I'm doing that, I yeah, here, you, yeah, can, here you can yeah. find it. Yeah. So yeah. second, you connect your hands, and then instead of going straight to the choke, you lift your arms as much as you can. Man, I was already tapping over there. So, so, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> or even you sit. So that was great. 
And then when you sit, you don't give me any chance to jump to the other side as well, yeah, right? Because so you come with the shin and the leg over. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't talk about that, but there's, um, it's really important. There's, there's two, uh, let's get this one, actually. You're, like, to defend, if I just sit back, let, let's say I've done all that, I sit back and you move to your right, then I, I lose it, okay? So, to stop, that's the first thing I want to stop. So, I'm putting my, my first thing, as I'm up, I put my right foot there. Now you can't move to the right. Okay. The second thing you might do is a forward roll. So you then might forward roll out of this. Okay. Uh, just like roll a bit. Yeah. And now it's, I don't have that same uh, shoulder pressure to pinch. Okay. So my second leg is going to shoot over your back to, to try to stop that. So it's once I'm in here, my second leg chops over your, your back too. At least if you do, like it's harder to roll, but if you do, I can follow you really well too. Okay. So I'm stuck to you. And I'll pull myself up ah. in the same position. Man, that was great. And then end up on the mat with the chokes. Too. Exactly, yeah. Man, that's amazing. So guys, we have done two so far. So what's the last one, uh, Lachlan? The so, yeah, the last one is the anaconda choke. And this actually it links in really well with the arm in guillotine. Okay, so the thing with the arm in guillotine is everything kind of has to be perfect to finish it. Like you, you'll find when you practice it, like if, if you aren't really tight, like with every step, they might not tap, okay? so. One thing is very common, Bernardo will hold on to my choking arm and then it's hard to finish. So then I'll switch to the anaconda. So we do the same thing, but here, but this time maybe he goes two hands on the one. I says grab my right arm. Yeah. And I can't, like, I'm not going to be able to finish the choke, but I can sit exactly the same way. So I can sit like this and I realize, okay, I'm not getting this choke. My left foot now will become a butterfly hook and I'm going to sweep him over. I go to a position we call inverted north south. So I take Bernardo over and I roll face up here. Okay. Now, this is what I really like about this is I can take, he's got two grips and I can take care of both of them at once. My left leg is going to swing up and I'm gonna push this, like I'm gonna get rid of this grip because my leg's gonna push that arm like that and it'll strip that grip. So Bernardo's holding that nice and tight. I got rid of that, that first grip. Okay. And now he's just got one arm holding on, right? The same action that strips this grip is also the action I want to do to finish the choke. Okay, so I'm going to push this arm and that lets me feed to my bicep. So now I've got rid of both arms and I've got position to come back and get the finish. Okay, sorry about that. Um, now, <laughs> That's great. one really important thing with this, and uh, this is probably the biggest mistake I think people make, they put their arm like deep. Here, this is not a choke. Yes. Okay? I need my forearm in front of the neck. So, uh, let's just do you want to turn this way, Bernard? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. Got a three-side again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, hope, I hope we land in the right way. <laughs> so, so, do the butterfly sweep. Wrong. Yeah, you should be able to see here. Okay, so, Good. let's say I'm too deep. What I want to do is I want to pull my elbow to my ribs. It puts your head a little bit in front of my chest. But my forearm's like chopping against your neck here. Okay? When I, when I trap your arm, it also turns you into the choke, which helps me. So, when, I, when my leg comes in, that turns you a little more into the choke. Now the key is I pretty much don't reach at all with my with my right arm, it's all my left arm. So I don't take my right arm through, it's my left arm. As that strips, I grip as high as I can. I bring my hand as far towards, like as, this gives you a good choke, but then when I, and I finish by rowing my, my elbow back, okay? So it's like, I'm pulling my right elbow towards my, my ribs. Okay. Um, one thing I don't do, which I think it's commonly taught, a lot of people taught, teach to walk into the head. I find if I walk, if you go to your knees, Bernardo, then I start to lose the control, yeah? If we go back, I'd rather just keep you here. Try and get to your knees. I can like move my legs on the ground to keep you in place as I- as I it's control. right over my neck. Yeah. Man, that's great. That's amazing. So guys, uh, so, so look, look, in this position here, if we had to point out like the most important thing, so, one, you connect the sweep right away, the yeah. butterfly sweep. Yeah, and, and you know what, sometimes people post, they let go of the, and they try and keep their balance, and then you've got your, a chance to go for the I army mean, guillotine again as well. So they, they either so get they're, they're swept together. or they're gonna... I got it. Then two, you use your leg to chase my elbow, yeah. and you use your other hand to break my grip. Yeah. And three, you place your form on my neck, yes. instead of going all the way through as yeah. most of the people do. Yeah. So guys, look how many like uh, hidden details there are there that nobody knows that I didn't know either. So that's really, really cool. And guys, uh, Lachlan has an instruction, how percentage chokes at bggfanatics.com. 
that's one of the best instructions for chokes all the all these and much more are there so make sure to check that out and uh, thanks so much for coming thank you Benetta. Well, appreciate it thanks guys please help me out to grow my youtube channel just click subscribe and to watch more videos just click under see more videos i hope you enjoyed BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.